Now since last time I kind of did a crude method of making chlorine gas, I decided to get a little bit fancier uh, to make some chlorine gas that doesn't have any water contamination, so I can use it to react with gold. Um, last time my result ended up looking like this. So you see the liquid got kind of yellowish. There's still some gas trapped up in the top, you can tell. Um, but because I made it with a water bath and I kept some water in there, after I froze it and shook it up, it actually dissolved into the water, which I basically expected. Um, but I think it um, reacted with water and made hydrochloric acid, so yeah, that's not very good for what I'm trying to do here. So I got a new apparatus. Actually, it's old glassware, but um, that's what I'm going to use now. I'm just going to capture the gas in this flask. I got seven grams of the calcium hypochlorite, which is cold, sitting in that round bottom flask. And uh, I'm going to put poor cold hydrochloric acid into it, because uh, that will slow the reaction down. So it looks like I have a successful production of some chlorine gas, maybe about three grams as I hoped for, and uh, it smells a lot better than last time because I've done this a lot more safely. Uh, it didn't change temperature much, so it doesn't seem to be an exothermic reaction or that exothermic, at least enough to affect that thermometer. Um, but I'm not exactly distilling something, so I think I'm going to heat it up just a wee bit try to squeeze out some more chlorine and then I'll be done with it. And now the gold. So this little nugget is one gram of pure gold I bought online for this very purpose about three years ago and I haven't got around to it until now. But there it is. Um, I'm going to split this little guy in half and use about a half gram of gold and try to react it with that chlorine gas to make gold chloride. And I've read that it requires a good deal of heat, so I'm actually going to heat up this little gold bar and hang it into there uh, with a copper wire uh, with plastic cable on it. Looks like I'm almost right on the money, no pun intended, 0.58 grams. So I kind of sadly expected that to be, to be my outcome. I was hoping for a little something to produce some gold chloride dust in the air, but I don't have much of anything going on right now. I think a better idea is to use propane to heat the gold. Um, it'll get it much hotter. So I'm going to try that out. So the reason uh, I haven't seen that before is because it's actually pretty hard to do. Um, I tried to get the gold hot enough to react with the chlorine, but it's a little more complicated procedure that I don't have equipment for to make happen because you actually have to pass chlorine gas over it while the uh, gold is heated and I don't want to mess with the gas and move it around too much. So I've decided to go indirect route because I found that you can dissolve, dissolve gold with aqua regia and then um, you can try to make gold chloride from that by heating it up and getting the dry product. 
um, and evacuating hydrochloric acid, so I'm going to try that route. And here begins my setup. You can see my old gold solution, which is a lot less concentrated, is yellow in color. Um, but the new one's pretty orange because it's a really high concentration. So got a lot of gold in there to dry out and get gold chloride. With. And the final dried product is right here. <clears throat> it's kind of strange. Some of the gold actually reduced right back down to pure gold metal. Those shiny chunks. And the brown stuff, I don't even know. I don't think they made gold chloride because the only pictures I've seen are like the yellow powder. This might be like iron chloride. Um, that's my best guess right now because I think my HCL might be contaminated with iron because the way they sell it for like pool chemicals, the muriatic acid has iron, I have heard. But uh, I don't know, it, it could easily be some other gold salt that's insoluble, um, but it's hard to say right now. If you have any idea, please let me know because I would really like to have gold chloride. Alright, bye bye.